Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create your own promo video in Canva. When you're trying to create a promo video, there are several things that you will need to pay attention to. The first one that you will need to pay attention to is the durations of your video, especially if you are trying to create a promo video for a certain platform. It is better to create a video with 5 to 15 seconds long when you are creating a promo video because that is the ideal spend times that a watchers or an audience will usually give to your video. And the second thing that you would like to put in your mind when you're creating a promo video is that you need to make sure that the video that you are making is well curated, meaning that you will not have any information that is not relatable to whatever it is that you're trying to promote. And you also already know what type of audience you want to reach with your promo. So make sure that the content of your promo video is aligned with your audience interest. Now, if you're unsure with what type of video you will want to create, you can just go ahead and take a look at the templates that Canva have. You can do that by simply typing on promo video on the search bar right here. And as you can see, there's already a lot of suggestion of promotional video that you can use, but I'm just going to go ahead and search the keywords of promo video. And here are the results. If you insert the promo video keywords into the search box, you will find out this video right here and you can use this video as the base of your promo video. Every single template that are available here are totally customizable, but you will have to mind the one that have a crown symbol on the bottom right of the templates because it means that you can only use it if you paid to Canva and use their membership. You will also need to pay attention to some templates that have a currency symbol on the bottom right of the template because it means that you will also have to pay for that specific template. So if you're using the free account like me, you will want to try and find a template that has no crown symbol as well as currency symbols. When you're trying to find a template, you can also see what kind of video that the template is trying to represent. For example, some of these templates shows modern real estate, some of them shows clothing, and some of them shows product for skincare, etc. So looking at the display of the template should give you an idea of what kind of video that that template will be, and it should make it easier for you to decide whether you want to use that template or not. Once you found a template that you like, you can also just click on the template to see the preview of the video that you might be working with if you choose to customize that particular template. And if you like the style of the template but you don't really want to work with that yet, you can just scroll down to the bottom of the template and you will see there are other templates that are similar to the first one that you choose. So if you don't know the keyword to a specific template that you use, you can just do this trick instead, scroll around under the template that you choose and you will find more templates that look like that. And this is a template that I'm going to work with today, so I'm just going to go ahead and click customize the template. And here is how my templates looks like. As you can see, it comes with pictures, wording, as well as different elements. All of the things that are available in this template are totally customizable. I can change the pictures in this template and I can also change the wording as well as playing around with the elements that are available. So the first thing that I'm going to do with this template is that I'm going to delete the available pictures and I'm going to change it into a pictures of my product. And then I'm going to adjust the size of the frame because I want to insert more than just one product. To add your pictures to the frame, you can go ahead and click on the Upload Files menu. And you can upload your files first if you haven't done it yet. I've already uploaded my pictures, so I can just drag my pictures from the Upload sections into the frame. After that, we can adjust the pictures by double-clicking on it, and you can also rotate it if you click on the Rotate symbol near your pictures, and then you can just tilt it around and position your pictures to however you like it to be. Next, I'm going to duplicate the pictures as well as the frame that I've already adjusted before because I wanted to add more than just one 
product pictures. So you can duplicate your element by simply clicking on the duplicate symbol on the pop-up menu of your element. Or another thing that you can do to duplicate your element is by simply clicking on Ctrl C on your keyboard and then Ctrl V to paste it. And I ended up duplicating one more frame so that I will end up with three different product. One of the reasons why most of the time I would drag my pictures into the frame is because if you just click on the pictures, it's going to show on the center of the design instead of inside of the intended frame. And sometimes I have a hard time on adjusting that pictures. Somehow I cannot bring that pictures into the frame if the pictures already appeared in the middle of the canvas. So I always drag my pictures into the intended frame. And here I am just changing the wording because this video is originally for a birthday invitation, but I'm going to use it as my promo instead. So I'm going to change the text from birthday invitation to super sale. And then I'm going to type in the brand name of my product. And since my brand name is pretty long, I am going to resize the text and make it smaller. And I want my brand name to be the first thing that people notice. So instead of putting it under the super sale wording, I'm going to go ahead and move it to the very top. And then I'm going to adjust it so that they are well and centered. And lastly, I'm going to change these text that shows some dates. I'm going to change it into the super sale dates. Once we're finished with all of the wording, now it's time to try and take a look at the duration of our video. As you can see, the original video duration is just 5 seconds and you can change the duration of your video either by dragging the sides of your frame. As you can see, when I drag it to the right, it's going to make my video longer, but if I'm dragging it to the left, it's going to make my video shorter. You can see that by the number that are appearing on top of the screen. And you can also adjust the timing of your duration by clicking on these clock symbols over here and you can slide around that bar or you can also just type out the duration that you want. Now I'm going to add one more frame but instead of doing it all from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and click on the triple dots on the right corner of my first frame and then choose duplicate page so that I will have the exact same color, the exact same wording pictures etc and i'm going to customize it because i just want this last frame to be a closing frame once you've created all of the frame that you need for your promo video you can also drag the frames around so let's say if you want to make the first frame into the second one you can just go ahead and drag it to the side of the frame and then it's going to automatically change the position of your frame in Canva, you can also add some background music if you want. You can just go ahead and click on the audio menu and then you can choose from the selection of music that are available on Canva. And once you're done editing your video, you can go ahead and click on share and then you can scroll all the way down and you will find a download button. And then you can choose the file type that you want to download this video with. I'm just choosing the mp4 video and then you can click on download and there you go. You got your promo video. And this is the video. And that is how you can create your own promo video with Canva. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.